peace and salutations. I am Iktal Iman for the Underground News Network. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time we call it the Master Blaster Jamming. I have been asked to speak on the reptilian enigma. First, I would like to say that humans on earth were created by the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki did the first genetic engineer experiments creating what is now known as the white man, the Adam. Those first experiments, a lot of those first experiments were faulty experiments, experiments going awry. Thus you have weird creatures such as the Bigfoot, Griffin, half human, half men. These tales of reptilians come out of those experiments going bad. The Anunnaki saw the apes coming up out of the water, going down by the waters. They used their women in genetically related experiments to create the Adam. Thus starts the evolutionary process. These creatures hiding from so-called civilized creatures, they were not evolved. They were sort of freeze-framed like the monkeys that we see now. The humans came from those. Some ran into the mountains, snow-capped mountains like the Bigfoot. Some went underground. So if these creatures still exist, they are them. Fear not, for the Anunnaki is the highest intelligent upon the planet, who like the grass, spring comes, the grass grows of its own. The Anunnaki came out of life like a seed on its own. Everything that exists from atoms to stars is that life force, is that intelligence. It that we call God is that intelligence, dwells within me as me, dwells within you as you. Let us look briefly at the graves. If we would become vegetarians, if we were to breathe fresh air, if the photosynthesis process was pure, we breathe pure sunlight, ate pure sunlight and not secondhand from plants, our body mass would be lighter, we would be smaller, our brains probably would be bigger, and we would look something, the humans here on earth, would look something like the graves. So it is a highly evolutionary process over centuries. So they are very intelligent, very telepathic beings. They are adversaries, emissaries, i.e., for the Anunnaki. They have the capability to come into this atmosphere without harming themselves like the Indians died when they met the white men. So they have been studying us, preparing us for the coming of the Holy Mothership, Nibiru. I hope that I have here cleared up somewhat about the reptilians. The negative forces of life saw the ancient astronauts in their goggles, in their helmets, and they exaggerated that and turned them into creatures that they call reptilian. This was used as a fear factor. The early cartoonists in the 60s and in the 20s and 30s started this conspiracy, and the hidden government uses this to put fear in the people. For instance, that the reptilian mindset that the Illuminati, the, we can call those reptilians, the Illuminati mindset, they created this factor. They say things like, for instance, Enki, the Anamaki, could maneuver in water and on land. Enki, Enki is a master of the water, so they wore like somewhat like the scuba diving outfit today. So they say in the lowers, the, the Sumerians say they were fish 
like bed. So the Illuminati blow it up and say they were half fish and half men. So these are the creatures that are coming down. So we have to fight against them because they are ugly and they are come to harm us. But no, what they saw was the uniform, were, were the scuba diving suits so they can maneuver. They were amphibian beings, they were called, as the, uh, the Nomo, as the Dogon said. So I hope I have cleared this up for you here. So have no fear. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time, we call it the Master Blast of Jamming. So we are in October. Martial law has been implemented. The stock market is crashing. The dollar is losing value. Keep your eyes to the sky this month. Keep your ears open this month. Be telepathic this month. The October surprise is here.